We're gonna take a look at some of the updates to real level security in Power BI. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and welcome to Guy in a Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your business gain insight by learning and growing on the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. And we had some updates come out for row level security, and I wanted to go over what those were and just walk through how to set it up now with the latest updates. This will not cover row level security implementations in analysis services. That's a whole different topic. Okay, so what is row level security? Row level security is just a way to restrict data access by users. This is done by using filters at the row level. And you can create those filters based on rules in a given data set. Let's look at an example of this. Let's take myself as the user. I'm going to define a role in Power BI Desktop and publish that to Power BI. Myself, I have access to all of the rows in the data set. And I want to restrict rows for John Doe. I want to say that he can only see the rows if the region is United States. Region is a field in my customer orders table in the data set that I have. So by creating a rule that restricts region to United States, and then I add John Doe to that role within Power BI, he will only be able to see the rows where the region is United States. He's not going to see any of the other regions. Now, I can create other roles. Say if I want to create another role that has a rule defined as region equals China and I add John Doe to that as well. He's going to see United States and China. It will combine all the roles that John Doe is a member of within the data set. Okay, that's what role level security is. Now let's see how we can actually set that up. The definition of roles was moved into Power BI Desktop, so make sure that you have the June 2016 update of Power BI Desktop. Once you've pulled in some data, you can go to the modeling tab, then select manage roles under security. This will pull up the manage roles dialog. There you can create a role, give it a name, select a table, and then provide a DAX expression, which will be the filter for that role. Once you've provided that DAX expression, you can select the check mark to actually validate the DAX expression itself to make sure that you got it right and there's no syntax errors. Once that's done, just go ahead and hit save. Now you may have noticed that you can't actually add members to the role with inside of Power BI Desktop. That's done with inside of the Power BI service itself. Now what you can do in Power BI Desktop is actually validate the role that you created. And you can do that by selecting View as Roles in the Modeling tab. This will give you a dialog that you can select the role that you want to view the data as. Okay, once you've checked everything in Power BI Desktop and everything looks good, you can then publish that Power BI Desktop file to the Power BI service. The roles that you defined are part of the Power BI Desktop file itself. So whenever you publish now, the roles will publish with it. So you're not gonna lose it whenever you publish. Once you're in the Power BI service, you can select the ellipse next to the data set, and then go to security, and this is where you can define the members of the role. You also have the option inside of the Power BI service to view as roles with inside of the service itself. This is similar to what you could do in Power BI Desktop, it's just in the service. Okay, let's talk about groups inside of Power BI. So in this latest release, you can actually implement and use row level security or the roles that you've defined inside of a group in Power BI. Here's the catch. The rules will only be applied to the users if they are read-only members of the group. That means in the group definition, you have to select that the members have read-only access. They can't edit. If you have the edit box selected, then the rules will not be applied to them. Okay, I know that was a whirlwind. Let's wrap up with some limitations. First off, if you had roles and rules previously defined in the Power BI service, you're gonna have to recreate those inside of Power BI Desktop and then republish the Power BI Desktop file. Until you do that, the visualizations will show an error and they won't render properly. Also, role level security is only available on data that you've imported into Power BI Desktop or for direct query connections that are not analysis services. Also, you can only create roles and rules inside of Power BI Desktop itself. So you can no longer do it inside of the Power BI service, and you can't do it from if your data is in Microsoft Excel. There are a few things that aren't supported with role level security right now. One of them is Q&A and Cortana that is on the roadmap, but it's not available yet. Also, the Analyze in Excel feature is not available for data sets that have role level security enabled. And also, you cannot share with external users. 
Okay, do you like the new changes for row level security and the fact that you can do that in Power BI Desktop now? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and tell me what your thoughts are. And also, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every Tuesday, I do a technical item such as this where I look at a new feature, how something works, or how to troubleshoot something. And every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I want to help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.